Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. And I have a hair product haul. And y'all, I must say that this is going to be the last set of products that I purchased um, for two months at least. So I'm in this, um, I have a basket that I filled up the use it basket, like use it up. So after I, I purchased these products, but I really want to purchase these products because, excuse me, I want to try them out, so not purchase I'm anything done. else. So let me show you what I got. Y'all probably like, okay, yeah, so what you got for two months. So let me show you what I got, okay? And this is gonna be a first impression on some of the items that I've used, okay? So, I got this, this silk girl, moisturizing well, treatment. treatment. It was like a dollar and some change or something, but I picked that I up just counter. to try it out. I don't know what this is. It was $5.99. She highly, highly recommended it. She was natural, and she had color in her hair, but she swore by this product. So it was $5.99, so I said, you know what? Okay, I'll try it. And it's called 180 Pro Turnaround to Healthy Hair Moisture Repair Discovery Kit. Discovery Kit. It has a shampoo, conditioner, and a miracle repair damage eliminator treatment. Never used it, but like I said, she said she swear by this. It was a black girl. She said that it was great for her dyed natural hair. So I'll try it out and see what it's like. I'll let you know. So with me not buying any products, y'all gonna have a whole lot of product reviews coming. I know I say that, but I've been doing one a week, so that's good, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna step it up. I got more. So let me tell you. Now I hardly ever. I don't know if I really hardly ever paid full price for Shea Moisture products. I just don't know that I have. Hey, so full price for Shea Moisture products. So I just, but this time I was so curious that I'm like, I just gotta try and see. So I don't. I now I went to CVS, but let me tell you, I did, it is the um, strength, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil strengthening. Strengthen, grow, and restore products. But let me tell you, if you go to CVS, do not go into these aisles with the Shea Moisture stuff. Don't go where the Shea Moisture items are because they're not there. I don't know why they didn't put them there, but they're in the ethnic um, section of where the perms and the, you know, ethnic specific aisle is. CVS is the only store that I've been able to find them at. And I'm gonna tell you, if you go into a predominantly and when I say this, y'all, I'm just telling you where to find the items at because up the street from my house, oh, which I can only find in my area, the, um, and I was so surprised to find it, I didn't know what to do. The Strengthening, Grow, and Restore Styling Lotion and the um, Leave-In Conditioner. I can only find these two in my area. But these are the last two. products I'm going to be buying um, for two months at least. Unless Shea Moisture has a sale. Now, kind of sort of like play-doh a little bit um it is kind of i'm i haven't tried this but i will be trying this this week it is a little bit runny but kind of thick let's see i'm gonna the consistency so there it is there it's a little bit runny so it's not like really really thick but it does like really feel like really moisturizing so as you can see, it is a little moisturizing to my hand, um, but I don't know how it's gonna be on the hair. And I had swatches on my hand, y'all. So yeah, my hand wasn't dirty, but I had done swatches and wiped with a um, thing. So here's the mask. Now, there's the mask right there. And let's see. The mask is very, it's very moisturizing as well. Same deal with so that. These two I have not tried. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I have tried and let you know my thoughts on it. So, if you got any questions about you know the line, then let me know and I'll answer them as much as I can. So, what I have tried though is the leave-in conditioner. And let me tell you, so I wash my hair right. I use Miss Jessie's, you know, which that's a really good shampoo, but I use Miss Jessie's and then use this as a leave-in. It does not take that much at all. The smell on all of these products 
are Play-Doh. I don't know what the heck makes it smell like Play-Doh, but on all of them, you get a Play-Doh smell. So this is what this looks like here. A little bit of this really goes a long way. You will not need a whole lot unless, you, I don't even think if you got a lot of hair, you'll need a whole lot. Very moisturizing. I got really, really good slip with this. I mean, like, really, really good slip with this. And I have 4C, 4B kind of like in the back, but 4C hair all in it top, honey, really. But it had a lot, a whole lot of slip to it, like a lot of slip, really nice leave-in conditioner. So for the next two, at least two weeks, these are the only products I'm gonna be working with so that I can give a really good thorough review. But that leave-in conditioner is the business, it really is. Now, let me tell you, I use the styling lotion as well, and this is what the styling lotion looks like. Let me show it to you. The styling lotion, um, it's not, it's not runny, but then again, it's not like really thick either. So this is the styling lotion and you kind of get the same thing. A lot of slip with this. I'm gonna tell you, I was thoroughly surprised with the leave-in conditioner and the styling lotion. And let me tell you why, because I'm usually one of those people that I have to have like more, I have to have like a, let's say a cream, an oil, and a, like a, um, a styler maybe, you know, like a styler, cream, oil, whatever, when I'm twisting my hair. All I needed to twist my hair, honestly, y'all, was this. I didn't need anything else. The slip was really nice. I felt like it was really moisturizing. Um, when I used it, my twist actually, they stayed together. They didn't unravel at all. So I didn't need a gel, um, and it was so moisturizing. I, use, I started out like, okay, I had my gel and I had my um, oil to seal my ends. You can still seal your ends if you want to, but I honestly didn't feel like I needed that. I really didn't. So I really stopped using anything. I only use it like in maybe two twists and I felt like I was getting honestly everything I needed out of this. So I just stopped using it because I didn't want to have a product buildup. So these two work extremely well together. Like I said, I was able to use this and I was able to use this and that was all I needed. So that was one thing that I was really, really happy and pleased with was the fact that I didn't need anything else. You know, I didn't need like three, you know, items sitting around a gel or moisturizer or oil and all that kind of stuff. I really just put this in my hair and remember a little bit of this goes a long way. And this is a first impression video, y'all. But from the first impression that I got, I was so impressed with these that I went on a mission today to find the other products. And I'm so glad that I really looked up on the rest of the products. I'm so excited about these products. And it takes a lot to wow me. It does, because you know, I'm really, I'm a, I'm a professed product junkie. So it takes a whole lot to wow me. And these products on the very first time wowed the heck out of me. I was yearning for this shampoo so bad yesterday because I just was like, wow, if this does like it's doing my hair, I really wonder how this would do. So I would definitely say that these are definitely worth the purchase. Now, I did today when I got home, and like put, and I did just a tad bit around my edges, to because I just wanted to see how it was gonna feel of this. Um, I almost forgot about this strengthening, grow, and restore edge treatment. I can't even talk. Let me show you the consistency of this. This one does remind you of um, Flexi Gel or something like that, but. It's a little bit thicker, so it is thick. It does remind me of Flex Seed Gel, if I can speak. And it's kind of hard to get it on your fingers, so, I mean, and then, okay, so when I put it around my edges, after a few minutes, I started to feel, not like a lot of tingling sensation, but just like, hmm, kind of like refreshing for a few moments. And this actually has um, peppermint in it and keratin. So it has shea butter, peppermint, and keratin. I would definitely say, on my first impression now, that this line is definitely worth trying out. 
if you don't get anything, this is all I've used so far, so this is all I can say that is the business. The leave-in conditioner and the styling gel, styling lotion. This was all I needed, seriously. Hands down, all I needed. So for the next probably two or three weeks, these are gonna be all the products I use. So if you're not like interested in buying it yet, then hold off, let me use it for a little while, like the whole line for a little while. And now I'm gonna come back on and do another review about these products because I'm just like, wow. First impression, absolutely off the chain. So they range anywhere. The edge treatment was only $7.99. The, this was only um, $12.99. This was $12.99. So the leave-in condition is $12.99. The mask is $12.99. The shampoo was $10.99. And I want to say the styling lotion was $10.99. I believe this was $10.99. So, I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely worth it. What I've tried is definitely worth the price. So, if you're in the market to try something new, I definitely would recommend that you start with this. Um, I would definitely buy this again so far. So far. Now we'll have to see because my hair don't like all the Shea Moisture products. Doesn't like all the Shea Moisture products. So, I don't know, but what I've tried, I love it and I would definitely say go for it. You know, try it out because you just might be surprised. I know I was, all right, y'all. So if you got any questions or anything like that, um, leave them in the comment section below and I will definitely answer your questions. All right, thanks so much for watching. Peace, bye.